This is a newly released 12 inch PA speaker that's battery powered, has wheels and a carry handle, Bluetooth capability with a built in media player, and even an included UHF wireless microphone. Let's take a look at it. What's up everybody and welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is DJ Jordan Nelson and next to the review table today, we have the American Audio APX12 Go BT, which I already mentioned is an awesome 12 inch PA speaker that's battery powered and has a whole host of features for under $250, which is a steal at this price. Today we're gonna take a look at all of the features of this speaker. We're gonna talk about the build quality, what comes with it included in the package, and then I'll give you a distance test of the microphone and the Bluetooth, and uh, just kinda of talk about why I think this is a phenomenal deal for mobile DJs and mobile entertainers. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be comparing this speaker to the previous version of battery-powered speakers from American Audio, the ELS Go series. I own the ELS Go 8 BT, uh, which was a great speaker and it served me well for a few years, but I think this is a huge improvement in a lot of ways. A lot of manufacturers are making battery powered speakers these days and that's just because there is more demand than ever. More clients, especially wedding couples, are having their ceremonies and their events in remote areas where power is not available. For example, I'm from Utah and if there's one thing that Utah couples love more than anything, it's having their wedding ceremonies and receptions in the middle of freaking nowhere, up in the mountains where there's no cell service, no power, no anything. So this is going to be a solution for people that need to do a beach wedding, people that need to do a mountain wedding, and the power is shoddy or non-existent. So first things first, I want to talk about the looks and the aesthetic of this speaker, which in my mind is a huge upgrade over the previous series. I had the ELS Go 8BT and it didn't look too bad as far as small uh, speakers go. The ELS 15 that they offer, however, was not for me. I did not feel like it looked like a professional product. The form factor was not that pretty and it just, it wasn't something that I would want to be seen at an event with. This, however, looks great. It has all of the design characteristics of the most popular speakers on the market right now. Nice flat rectangular grille, tapered sides, uh, not too rounded kind of straight lines. Uh, vertical handle right here. There's a handle up on the top, which we'll take a look at in a second. Another handle right here, so this is easy to transport. Speaking of that, let's talk about the construction. This is a plastic speaker, and that's not a knock on uh, its construction. Plastic speakers are very common. They are more lightweight, which is especially helpful with this speaker because it contains a battery, which makes it a little bit heavier than other speakers. This comes in around 35 pounds, I believe. So it's not light by any means. 35 pounds is nothing to scoff at. If uh, you know weight is something that you deal with, uh, that you struggle with as far as getting your speakers up onto speaker stands, this may not be the option for you. But then again, with both handles on the side, it shouldn't be too hard for you to get it up on the speaker. But the battery inside will add weight to it that another 12 inch speaker would not have. Probably the most unique feature of this speaker's design as far as the external cabinet would be the wheels and carry handle that come included with this. And I'll overlay some footage of me using this. What I really like about this is it makes this speaker easy to get in and out of venues if you're already filling up your cart with your main system. Let's say you buy this to do a wedding ceremony or a cocktail hour. It doesn't fit on your cart with your other speakers. You can easily extend the handle and roll this on its wheels into the venue. Alternatively, if you're a one-man band or just a, a musician, a guitar, singer, songwriter, you can put your stuff on a smaller cart and then wheel this into the venue as well. The wheels are not caster, so they don't rotate, but they are on really sturdy brackets. They're like a thick, um, I don't know if that's rubber or plastic. Either way, when I roll this uh, on the tile or on the carpet in my house, it feels really, really nice. And I don't uh, feel like this is cheap or gonna fall apart at all. The extendable carry handle is like you would find on most luggage. You can uh, extend it up to a height that makes it so you don't have to lean over to pull it and uh, it just makes transporting the speaker really, really easy. Inside of the box, besides the speaker, obviously, you're gonna have your power cable. This is a standard IEC power lead. I believe it's six feet long. You can use this to charge the internal battery or you can run the speaker off of this if you forgot to charge your battery or just wanna use this as a regular PA speaker. Also included is this little wireless remote. This is gonna allow you to adjust features such as the volume, skip tracks forward and back, or adjust the mode on the built-in media player from maybe 15, 20 feet away. We'll do a distance test in a little bit. Now this is an IR remote, so you need to point it at the speaker. It has to be aimed at it like a TV remote. You can't just be aiming it willy-nilly. So that's something to keep in mind. Again, was this necessary to include? Is this included with most speakers? No. Do I like that they threw this in? Absolutely. Last but not least is this wireless UHF microphone. Now, I'm gonna be straight up and talk to you guys honestly about this. It's not the most high quality microphone in the world, and I don't think this should be your main microphone. With that being said though, 
Can I believe they're throwing this in with this speaker for under $250? Absolutely not. It functions and I will show you a distance test in a second. It works well, especially if it's your emergency backup. You know, if you've gone down your main wireless mics, there's a power surge that fries them or something and you need a backup option, it's so great that they included this. Or for a truly wireless solution, the speaker is battery powered. You don't need to power the wireless mic receiver because this has batteries and the receiver is built into the speaker. So, you know, an awesome, awesome little thing that they threw in. Even if this wasn't included with the speaker, this would be a phenomenal deal, but the fact that they added this really, really sweetened the deal. Before we turn this around and take a look at the backside, let's talk about a few of the specs. This is a 12 inch low frequency driver with a one and a half inch voice coil, and then up top you have a one inch tweeter. The frequency response of the speaker is from 40 hertz to 18 kilohertz. We'll talk about uh, my testing and what I think about that frequency range in just a second. Now, one of the things I really appreciate about American Audio is that they don't hype up or inflate their power specs. This is rated at 200 watts peak, 65 watts program, which I think is a very accurate, honest measurement. And for the speaker's intended purpose as, you know, an auxiliary system, a satellite speaker, a ceremony or cocktail speaker is more than enough power. You're not going to be rocking school dances with this, but that is not what it's about. But it has more than enough to amplify vocals and, you know, background music across uh, an area where a cocktail hour would be held. The last spec that I wanted to touch on is the battery life, which is right down here. It is rated at eight hours of runtime on a full charge. That's going to obviously vary depending on your use. You know, eight hours, I imagine is probably for like a 70% volume, kind of a moderate listening level. If you're rocking out at hundred percent, it's going to be less. If you're doing really low listening levels, you might get a little more battery life, but eight hours is what they say it can do. Let's zoom the camera in on the back of the speaker and I'll show you all the inputs and outputs and talk about some of the features that the speaker has. All right. So we'll start at the bottom of the speaker. You've got a little vent here. You know, I imagine for either cooling or for base extension. Above that you have your IEC power in as well as your power switch to turn the battery on or off. Right here is your mixer section. So we'll start from the left side. You've got your internal battery indicator right here. It's got four LEDs, full to empty. So when you charge it all the way up, this green LED at the top will be lit. And then as you use your battery, it will go down to the red LED at the bottom. Over on the right side, you have your inputs and your output. It has a line out so you can link the speaker to another one if you don't want to run stereo cables. You can extend it, you know, along the length of a long wall, which is really nice. At the top, you have a microphone input, which is XLR or quarter inch, which has its own adjustable volume right here. You also have a line in right here, which has three different connection options. You have your auxiliary auxiliary. I can say that word 3.5 millimeter, you know, one eighth inch uh, headphone jack input. RCA inputs or an XLR line input, again with its own volume right here. One thing to note is that these volume knobs do not have a 12 o'clock detent, so they don't lock in the 12 o'clock position. They're just kind of infinite. I don't think that's a huge deal, but I always like to see that but at the end of the day, you know, on a speaker of this price, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So below the mic volume and the line level, you have the master volume right here, which will control all of the inputs together. Then you also have a little two channel EQ, treble and bass. I have my bass knob notched up to about the two o'clock, two thirty position. I think the speaker could use a little low end reinforcement and putting it right there sounds best to my ears. Last but not least, we have the media player right here at the top. And this is a feature that the ELS Go 8BT had, and I'm really glad they kept it on this. This is just so handy to have. This allows you to play music files from a SD card, a USB stick, or via Bluetooth connection. This is another great option for backup. If you lose your main music source, maybe you even lose your first backup, and this is your second backup, it's so nice to be able to plug in a USB stick and have music ready to go in the event of an emergency. Alternatively, I've done a cocktail hour with my ELS Go 8BT and just put, you know, three hours of tracks onto the stick when it was in a remote location, plug it in, and I have uh, an option to not have to babysit the speaker or babysit the mix while I'm doing other things in a different area. On this little display right here, it will tell you, you know, if your Bluetooth is powered on, it will tell you what track you're on, the file name, if you're using the USB or the SD card. You just click the mode button, which is the farthest left button, and that will allow you to change from USB to SD card to Bluetooth. One of the other modes that this had, which was pretty surprising, was an FM radio. Again, kind of showing that the speaker can be just as useful in the 
consumer market as the DJ market. You know, if you're gonna take this out to your garage, work on your car, just hang out by the pool and you want kind of a big boom box, again, at, at the price, why not? Uh, you can access re FM radio stations through this. Now, the reception is decent. It's not the best because there's no external ex antenna, but uh, it works pretty well for my uses. So mode button on the left, play pause, stop, track repeat and then track back and track forward as far as your controls right there. So we've talked about build quality, we've talked about features and accessories and ins and outs. Let's talk about sound quality. Now I'm not gonna do a sound quality test on this video. I think sound quality tests through YouTube are pointless, so you can fight me about that in the comments. But uh, by the time it goes through my camera and my audio editing and the speakers and crappy YouTube compression, you're not gonna hear what this actually sounds like. But I'll try and relate it to you in terms that are understandable. I owned, first off, the ELS GO 8BT. So if you've heard that, this is a big improvement sound-wise. A bigger 12-inch driver is gonna give you more low-frequency extension, and one of the biggest things for me with the ELS series was the noise floor was kind of high. Even when nothing was playing through the system, you would get a, a kind of white noise, a hum, just like a low level, like pshhh, and it kind of turned me off of using it for wedding ceremonies because if it, you have a really quiet, uh, sensitive moment, I, I don't want to hear that noise floor. That's completely gone with this speaker. There, it is dead silent, even if you turn the volume all the way up when there, nothing's playing through it, which is really helpful if you're in those kind of more reserved environments. Sound quality wise, I mentioned earlier in the specs that this extends down to 40 hertz. I think that's a little too... Uh, much, I would say this probably goes down to 50, 45, maybe at like a negative 10 dB point. The, the low frequency extension is not great. Again, you're not gonna be rocking dance floors with these as your main speakers. So I would not try unless you take a subwoofer with you to supplement these. It's more than enough for acoustic music. It sounds great with some guitars. It sounds really good with keys. It sounds great with vocals. Uh, again, if you're criteria, your expectations for sound quality for the event aren't high. Again, like a background music at a cocktail hour, it's not gonna be an issue at all. It has good like mid bass and high bass punch, but no sub bass or low frequency extension, which is to be expected from a speaker at this price point and with this form factor. If you wanna add a little bit of that low end, you saw how I adjusted the EQ knob up to about the 230 uh, clock position and that kind of reinforced that low end a little bit better. All right, so let me show you a quick distance test of the wireless remote and the wireless mic and the Bluetooth. Now this is a super unscientific test for a few different reasons. It has been raining nonstop in Florida and so I had to do this on a muggy day when I had a tiny break in the rain. So the lens is a little foggy and uh, I had to speed up certain parts because it was windy outside. And, but just bear with me. Um, I'm gonna give you some text underneath all the videos so you can see the distances that I went out to with each of the components. And know that I was pushing these about to the max that they could go. In reality, you're not gonna wanna try and use this mic at a couple hundred feet. It's not intended for that. You're not gonna wanna try and use this at 100 feet. Uh, but with reasonable distance, you know, you're, you're across, you know, halfway across the room from your DJ booth, these are definitely usable. So let's cut over to that video test and take a look. All right, so now we're out here on the back patio of my house. We've got a few hundred feet that we can do a couple of distance tests. So as you can see on the back of the speaker, I have no cables hooked in at all. That includes power. Everything is gonna be completely wireless including the microphone and the music. So what we're gonna do is because I don't wanna blast out my neighbors and it's kind of windy right now, I'm gonna run a direct line out from the speaker right here into the Tascam recorder so that you can hear the microphone and the audio. The first thing we're gonna test is the infrared remote. Then we're gonna test the Bluetooth uh, connection distance itself. And then we're gonna test the wireless UHF microphone that comes with the APX12 GO BT. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this camera right here on this table and uh, let's do a few distance tests. And here is the test, 25 feet, to see if our infrared remote is still working. Fantastic. So I'm easily at 25, 30 feet, and we're still getting the ability to control the speaker with this little infrared remote. Now, you do need line of sight. This is a radio frequency, but I'm pretty impressed with how well that's working. All right, so now what I'm going to do is test the Bluetooth distance capabilities of the speaker. I'm going to turn on some music, and I'm going to start walking away. And when the music starts to cut out, we'll see about how many feet we are away from the speaker. So let's go.
All right, so I would say that was about 150 feet. And the last test for the APX12 GO BT will be the UHF microphone that's included with the speaker. I'm gonna walk clear across the pond and see how far this microphone will transmit. Check, one, two. All right. And so, on the Bluetooth. so there's your super unscientific distance test there. Hopefully that was somewhat helpful. Again, I was pushing the limits on these guys, but for regular everyday use or as a backup system, I think they're going to be plenty. Final thoughts. This is an amazing product. The fact that they can get this out to consumers for under $250 with everything that's included and the, the media player, the handle and the wheels, and the, the great looking form factor. If you need a battery powered speaker and don't want to shell out top, top dollar, this is going to be the option for you. Uh, the downsides, like I would say, low frequency extension, uh, you know, a little bit heavier, but I, I'm being nitpicky at this point. I really think at the price point, it's a no brainer. So if you want to grab one of these, definitely go pick one up. I, I don't think you can go wrong with it. American Audio is a great company. You all know them from ADJ and their other products. So. Uh, APX12 Go BT, two thumbs up for me. I, I'm super happy with it. And if there's something specific that you guys wanna see, just let me know. I'll be happy to test it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, I do tech reviews, DJ gear reviews, a little bit of everything, helping people find gear that's gonna be best for them. I'd appreciate the like, the comment, the subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.